What up? It's Ty 1822. So, WrestleMania just went off the air. I know there will be a lot of people that's upset what took place in the main event. And there will be some people that's happy what took place in the main event. But I will get to that later on. This is night two of my WrestleMania review. If you ain't seen the first one earlier, check that out before you watch this right here. So, WrestleMania kicks off with Omos versus Brock Lesnar. Now look, I never cared for this match at all. I wanted Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley, but Triple H just had to mess it up, and Bobby Lashley did not get a match because of a Bray Wyatt situation. So Triple H, screw you for that right there. You messed up big time. Now this Brock Lesnar, oh my man, all thing you can say about it, it was just that match where Brock Lesnar was able to look more Worrying for more vulnerable because someone was bigger than him. It was just okay, nothing special, but very impressive. Brock Lesnar was able to hit a F five on Omos. What's next for Brock Lesnar? I don't care what's next for Omos at all. Omos is okay, but he had a long way to go. The women's fatal four. This was crap. Something that could have been on SmackDown. It was a SmackDown match. Nothing newsworthy about this match right here. Ronda Rousey got the submission, win the match for her and uh, uh, Shayna Baszler. And I believe Ronda Rousey, <coughs> sorry, Ronda Rousey is banged up, so she didn't do much in this match besides just get the submission, I, which I believe. I don't think she did anything in this match. I don't recall if I'm wrong. Please let me know in the comments section because I don't remember seeing things she did in this match right here. Now, after those two, the show got so much better. The triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther versus Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. This match kicked ass. Three heavyweights in this match right here. The crowd was going nuts for Sheamus. This is the most over Sheamus ever been since he had that match with Gunther for the IC title last year. Man, the physicality in this match, the chops, everything in this match was just excellent, man. The crowd was eating this up. Three heavyweights. This is what I want when it comes to the IC Championship. And this is one of the greatest and the kind of championship matches I've ever seen as a wrestling fan. Gunther is a future main event player in the WWE. He's not getting the same type of stuff like an Austin Theory where he got to go against someone like a John Cena. No, he's working with people that's already on the main roster. He don't need to get a rub from Vince McMahon. He's just doing damn good for himself because he is one of the best talents in the company today. I've been a fan of this guy since I first laid eyes on him. And it's good to see the work he's been putting in. Big up to all three of these guys right here, man. And go through it's still your Intercontinental Champion. The Women's Championship. Bianca Belair had an excellent, excellent entrance against Austin. Now, the build for this match really wasn't nothing. But this match kicked a lot of ass, man. I really enjoyed this one right here, man. I still look really good in this match with Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair is such a star. I said Bianca Belair was going to be a star when I first watched her NXT. Talking about undefeated. And I also said that she can go down as the greatest of all time. And it looked like that's going to happen. Because Bianca Belair is just... A generational talent. I'm not gonna say generational female talent. No, she's a generational talent. And by my surprise, I didn't expect Bianca Belair to retain in this match. And I love the ending to this match when she able to get the KOD when she's in the submission move. I I was really expecting I to kick out the move. She didn't. Wow. So Bianca Belair still a champion. She won it last year at WrestleMania against. Bacon Lynch is retaining it tonight at WrestleMania against Oscar. So what's next for Bianca Belair? You know, I'd like to see. I know they don't set brands now because she won the championship last night. I want to see Bianca versus Rhea Ripley champ, Rhea champ at SummerSlam. That's a big match right there. I ain't trying to see no goddamn Charlotte Flair versus Bianca. 
So more than likely, that's what's going to head to <laughs> down the line. That might be the summer time here, actually. Or backlash. <laughs> it's going to happen. Just watch. But, man, big up to these two ladies right here, man. Two of my favorites in WWE. So the Miz and, you know, Snoop had a little intermission. And, you know, he was like, oh, I'll give you another match like you did against uh, Pat McAfee. And come out surprised. Here comes the money. I love that thing. So all of that Shane McMahon. So Shane McMahon came out. Had a match with the Miz. Then all of a sudden, Shane McMahon blows out his knee. And I found out a couple minutes ago, he blew his quad. Like father, like son. Hell, brother-in-law. <laughs> she like blew his two times. And man, but being up the Snoop Dogg, man, for improvising. Like a straight pro. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg had a match with the Miz. That Jan Vandetta. <laughs> that took place at Russell Mania. And Snoop Dogg hit the people's elbow. Hilarious stuff. Snoop Dogg is just iconic, man. This guy just do everything. What a life this guy lived. I remember Snoop from, you know, possibly going to prison, you know, or the situation with his um, security guard, uh, bodyguard, whatever, whoever was, shot that uh, person a long time ago. If you don't know about this story, look it up on Google. And look where he at now, one of the greatest rappers of all time, one of the biggest names in the world, so iconic. Man, Snoop just do everything. The man was at AEW at one point, did a splash on the road. Now at WrestleMania, doing at people's elbow. Oh man, I love Snoop Dogg, man. What an entertainer fella he is. The Hell in a Cell match. Love interest in both guys. The Demon Fan Bottle is finally back. Now, of course, uh, you know, when it comes to blood and W, they got to stop it because he was leaking. You can see all over the match. So that did kind of stop the momentum of the match. But overall, I still like this Hell in a Cell match. I wish the Hell in a Cell match was like it used to be. It's a lot more safe in the WWE. That's the only problem with it. I went edging to my Hell in a Cell matches. You don't get that. But that spot where Finn Balor went for the crew to go right in between the table. That was an awesome spot right there. But Edge finished Finn Balor off. He defeats the Demon. Because it's rare when a Demon loses in matches. But tonight was that match for the Demon to lose. Now, what's going to happen after this feud is over? I'm really wondering what's going to take place with Judgment Day. Because we know Ray Ripley is a champion, which means she got to be on SmackDown. Unless uh, WWE decide we just want to swap her and Bianca Belair. The main event for the biggest prize in the WWE, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Now, this was the night a lot of people thought Roman Reigns' time is up. Or will Roman Reigns' time not be up and he will pass 1,000 days as the undisputed champion. This match right here was the match of the night. The storytelling in this match was just chef kiss, man. The near falls had me on the edge of my seat. Even though I was in my bed, but you know what I mean. I was just, my heart was racing. McCordy made the right decision to come to WWE. This is Ron Reigns' best by far best WrestleMania match. You know, um, Solo got involved so many times, but then once he hit him with the belt, that's the ref injected him, then you got shenanigans, the Usos, KO, Sami Zayn, I said, oh man, here we go, this might be where Reigns lose, but then when I kept watching, I said, you know what, once those guys were out the picture, I'm like, uh-oh, yeah, Reigns is going to win. And with the help of Solo, we turn into the match, with some on spike, Roman hits Cody Rose with despair. One, two, three, still the champion, Roman Reigns. And now people on Twitter are heated. Certain people I know said before the show started earlier in the day, Roman should retain because when you look at it, and I do agree because I with them, Cody Rose and Reigns just started. The story was not long enough for Cody just to beat Roman Reigns. Now, I do know, yes, WrestleMania is the biggest event of the year for the WWE, and SummerSlam is not that. It is the biggest party of the summer, but it's not WrestleMania. But when you got to think about it, if this was Sami Zayn's situation with WrestleMania, then I could say, okay, you need to take the belt off because this months of bill. Cody and Reigns really just started having conversations on the microphone like two, three weeks ago. So it's not like they've been going this since January. It started like last month. So it's not enough heat in this feud for him to just take the belt off Roman Reigns. Now you can build this up because the Usos don't have the tag and title. So now Roman Reigns can talk about how 
y'all lost your belts, and I still had mine. And now you can finally get to the point where, at SummerSlam, when Cody faced Roman Reigns, you know who would turn Roman Reigns? The bloodline. And that will lead to Cody Rhodes defeating him for the championship. And that's going to take place just right at SummerSlam. So it was the right decision. Roman Reigns is still the undisputed champion of the WWE. So, WrestleMania Night 2, I enjoyed it. Beside the two matches, everything was very enjoyable to me. Overall, this was one of the best WrestleManias in a long time. I, you know, I'll probably say this is the best WrestleMania since... What, what, what was that? 30, 32. I say best WrestleMania since 32. I really enjoyed the show. So, give me your thoughts on WrestleMania Night 2. Which do y'all prefer? 1 or 2? I would say Night 1 was better uh, overall show. So, there we go, man. WrestleMania in the books. And WrestleMania will be here in my city. Next year, 2024, baby, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ooh, thank God they did that match in L.A. Because, let me tell you something, if that match took place in Philadelphia, yeah, that whole, that whole state would have been burned down. I'm not lying. So, don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.